and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with the lovely Josie. I'm sure most of you know her. She's kindly had me over at her house. And we're going to share with you our favourite new and beauty products. So since you're the guest on my channel, do you want to get started? Of course. So firstly, I've got a couple of lovely products from Bare Minerals. I've only really recently discovered Bare Minerals and I absolutely am now completely obsessed. All their powders, just so good for your skin. If I'm ever having a bad skin day, I just use one of their powders and yeah mind blown they're so incredible so they have brought out a new blemish remedy powder and it's skin colored also like their previous powders if you like those but it has additional ingredients in it which are really good for if you have any blemishes or even blemish scarring and it's ginormous much bigger than the old powders so you're getting a lot more for your money and just the fact that it has that skincare benefit to it i think is amazing so double tick for this one and they also have their Bare Minerals Bare Skin Experience, which is basically a good starter kit if you've not tried the brand. Have you tried Bare Minerals before? I have, but I feel like I've never found the right shade, so really? I've never like fallen in love with it. But I always see wearing it, it always looks incredible. It does. I yeah. always say to people, like, oh my gosh, what have you got on your face? And not expecting it to yeah. be powder, mm -hmm. and it's their, it's their yeah. matte powder. I expect it to look powdery, but it just doesn't. It, it looks like more flawless so than, a, than a liquid. It's so good. If you've not tried the brand before, this is a really good kit. You get the serum foundation the amazing brush which has like a little dip in it for the makeup and you also get one of their setting powders so it's a great starter kit the products are not completely full sized the brush is full size and I'm pretty sure it's one of the best selling brushes in the UK yeah they're meant to be like the number one yeah. brush brand or something aren't they but this is not a full size of the makeup but it's a really good way to test it if you're not sure if you're going to get along with it so like all Bare Minerals products it's got ingredients in it which are really good for your skin so this is the pure brightening serum foundation so it's got all the benefits of the skincare but in the makeup which I think is great yeah like killing two birds with one stone so yeah, really like the new products from Bare Minerals. I don't know if this is that exciting, but I think it is. I it's love cleanser. Yeah, I just love cleanser. And this is the Cordially Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil, mm -hmm. which I guess is what you'd expect. That you wash it off with water um, and it removes eye makeup, everything like that. Have you mm. tried this? I've not tried it, but I love oils, especially in winter, because yeah, you me want too. to see more luxury on your skin, yeah. don't you? But I usually use a balm because oils typically break me out so I'm quite mm. interested to see how this one will go but I really like the smell of this I used this this morning mm. and I really like it I think I it removes makeup it. really well oh. I imagine it to be like sparry coconut and uh, not coconutty like cucumber is that what it is no it's almost like coconut mm. coconutty if anything oh no that's marzipan that's that almond think? Yeah. oh maybe it is almond yeah yeah grape and sweet almond oh yeah oh, it smells so nice if you yeah. like the smell of marzipan you'll love that that's yeah i don't think oh it's like gosh. quite expected to smell like no. but i do really like it not at all and quarterly is like a reasonable price as well i would mm. say so yeah looking forward to kind of trying this for a prolonged Ooh. period yeah so next is the Clarins Jolly Rouge lipsticks, which themselves are not actually new. Clarins Jolly Rouge has been around for quite a long yeah, time, I a few so. years at least. But they've repackaged them and looked at the formula again. I didn't really think the formula could be improved, but it is improved, it's much longer lasting. Did you try them last year? Okay, it's going to make me sound so bad. So I had a few, and I think I have tried them, but because mm -hmm. the packaging just wasn't, it wasn't like my sort of packaging, it was like I just wasn't didn't it? try them. Yeah, I just, mm -hmm. I just need some gold packaging. They were really good for beach lipsticks yeah. because they're really moisturising, but these look pretty, so. Yeah, exactly, I just think that just helps so much. And I think some yes. of them had a bit of shimmer in them, yeah. and I didn't really like that, and I don't think any of these have shimmer. They don't have shimmer, but they're still quite a Sheeny. glossy. Yeah, yes, they do definitely. have a shimmer. When you look at them in the packaging, you think they're going to be really matte, but they do still have quite a gloss finish to them. But if you like your lipsticks, and especially in winter when it's going to start getting chilly and your lips, and, well my mm -hmm. lips get pretty sore Mine in winter, too. it's really good because it's like a cross between a balm and a lipstick. This is what I've got on right now as well, Thank this you. is 744. That's not yeah. as shimmery as I thought no, it would be. No, it's not. Like, I just think it's a nice wearable shade. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as pigmented as like a MAC matte lipstick, that's not yeah. what I really want because I that's think that's a bit harsh pigmented. sometimes. So I think this is just really good. And they've brought out, I think it's three new liners, is it just three? No, I think it's five. Five. Which you're supposed to match your skin colour and not your lip colour, which I think is quite a nice idea yeah. as well. Especially yeah. if you want to make your lips look bigger yeah, so exactly. you just draw around the mm -hmm. outside of your lips. Really good for making your lips look bigger. Yeah. So these are really lovely. So I wasn't too sure if I was going to talk about these, but I just think they're so cute and I can't not talk about them. Have you tried Paul and Joe? Um, I've only ever tried their eyeshadow, eyebrow okay. shadow. I just think Paul and Joe does the cutest packaging. Um, not necessarily, I don't know, not necessarily my style, I would say. Like I said, I love gold packaging. 
but I just think they're so cute. Um, these like pop out so you can buy oh. different products to go in, which I think is quite nice. That one doesn't. That's amazing. Um, but they're just nice. They're somewhat expensive, I would say, but mm. not too much. And they're just adorable. I think they're quite like adorable. nice collector's items I would yeah. say um, I think they're just quite nice to have there and look at this one's got cats and they love cats if you're a cat person Paul and Joe is the brand for you um, yeah but I just think they're a really cute brand yeah. and I always like think their packaging's adorable and the quality is good too I was gonna say it's a yeah, product actually they are good, yeah I've had some amazing amazing blushes from them as well next thing that I've got is not actually terribly new but it's really new to me and really exciting so Sabrina let me talk yeah. about them it's the Norman Parkinson collection for Charlotte Tilbury I got so excited about this because I've never owned the I've never owned the I don't own either don't you know so we need to like try this out later you guys have probably all heard the legendary about the legendary film star bronze and glow by Charlotte Tilbury and finally got it and I cannot wait to try it and it's got of course the Norman Parkinson prints on it which are absolutely so beautiful. this is the normal bronze and glow in different packaging I believe so yeah oh, I'm tempted, tempted to get this yeah and it's rose gold which I just love and then this one is the, I think this is a highlighter, so what's it called? It says on here. I didn't expect this to be shimmery though. No, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, mean, I think it would be nice on the skin. Everyone raves about it, mm, so it they must do. be good. Whenever Susie Hello October does it, I'm like, I need your skin, it looks so good. So yeah, I can't wait to try that. And then this is, oh, this is not a highlighter, I thought this was a highlighter. This is the Colour of Youth Happy Lip Cheek and Glow, which is, again, absolutely stunning. Obviously not a highlighter, it's bright no. pink. I clearly hadn't remembered what colour this one was. But I love multitasking products, so the fact that you can put this on the lips and on the cheeks, and I'm only just getting used to using cream things on the cheeks, but this, again, absolutely gorgeous. This one, therefore, must be the highlighter. I think this would be quite nice in the winter when your skin's getting a bit drier as well. You just yes. get like a nice little sheen. A little bit more moisture. Yeah. That's gorgeous. And then this is the most stunning of them all. It's Norman Parkinson in a kind of like palmy, deserty situation. And again, ginormous rose gold compact with a beautiful, humongous highlighter in it, which again, so excited to try it. I've been saving it for this video because I wanted it to be all pure and beautiful. But as it's Charlotte Tilbury, all her products are amazing, so I'm sure this will be incredible as well. And although they're expensive, I think they're worth the money, because I think there are some brands that you're just kind of paying for the name, yeah. like the one I mentioned earlier. <laughs> but um, she's a makeup artist, so it's she just knows that what the she's qualities doing. Are, um, the quality is amazing, and she does she designs Tom Ford's makeup. Does she? Yeah. Ooh. But Charlotte Tilbury is just so much better than Tom Ford. And I mean this makeup bag as well. It doesn't yeah. look that big on camera, but if you compare it's it to like massive. our faces, uh, it's a massive it's head. so big. <laughs> Oh my god, the hair though, full of secrets. <laughs> oh, there's something else in here, another Clarence Jolly Rouge. But it's huge, absolutely ginormous, which is amazing for holidays or if you like, do you use your everyday makeup out for a makeup bag? No. I get mine out of a drawer, but some people like Becca, she has hers. If you don't have bag. that much makeup, then have it all this in is there. like a, a very good size bag. It's amazing, size bag. Yeah. so big, and it's like white clean as well, which is amazing. And that's an, I love that print as well. Yeah, it's so really cute. nice. Yeah. Perfect for like take on holiday. Exactly, mm. love. So I was recently sent these by Nails Inc. I don't know too much about them, but I think they're a launch for Fashion Week, I'd assume, because they're with Alice and Olivia. Yeah, so I actually have this shade on, which is next to nothing, and it's just a really pretty shade. I'm so loving Nails Inc. new packaging. Mm. I just think it's perfect. Me too. It's just so way more, more luxe. luxe. Yeah. yeah, so much more. So you take this lid off and then you use that. I think previously they weren't that easy to hold or anything no. like that and now they really are. They looked cheap before. Yeah, the brushes are just beautiful and the quality is really good as well. That's like the kind of colour that everybody wants yeah. in autumn, yeah. isn't it? And it's quite a dark one I think, which mm. I kind of like because sometimes they're a bit too medium almost. And not almost. too red, it's more purple. No, yeah, it's a really, really pretty colour I think. Mm -hmm. And they're fairly high end, £11, £11, pounds, yeah. yeah. But you get quite a lot in them, yeah. boys. Yeah, they I think chip, so. They? No. Like so. They're 14 good. mil, which is a lot, I think. Typically mm. you get like 10, eight. Yeah. 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 So if you like full coverage, I really like full coverage, and I absolutely loved the last foundation that Clinique brought out, the one with the doe foot applicator, because it gave a really flawless finish, but it was quite a heavy finish, which is not to everybody's taste. It was but quite a pigmented finish, almost. Yeah, it was. It really took out every kind of colour, yeah. Was, yeah, so you needed to contour. Yeah. But that's for sure, you need to contour. But basically, Clinique have now bought out, this is officially called the Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation and Concealer, which is, as you can imagine, the powder version of 
that foundation. So it will, I'm guessing, give quite high coverage for a powder, which a lot of people really like. Personally, I don't normally use powder on its own for my coverage. I'll use it as like a top up, but on those days when you just want to have a powder on, this will be really good for higher coverage. It comes with a really handy sponge in it. I absolutely love this sponge. I feel it's, it's a good not shade. like a normal sponge. Yeah. Oh no. It's like a really cool sponge. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. You just need to go and like try this because I was oh, I think to this side's it. spongy, but this side is like velvety. velvety. You yeah. can see that there's like a really thin layer on top. That it's is strange. It's yeah, weird. it's cool. <laughs> it's so strange. It's like yeah. really weird, and it's like a teardrop shape, so really good if you want to get into the precision areas of your face. And of course, it's got the handy mirror and the lid. So this has also, I do believe, got skin-loving ingredients in it. Um, yeah, skin breathes comfortably, colour stays true, oil free, so yeah, you know that they clinic have put a lot of research into this and it's going to be good for your skin and really long lasting, obviously as it's a powder, I just think it's really handy that it's got the sponge yeah. and the mirror and the product in it, so a good little handbag essential. And still quite compact I would say. Very compact, and you don't even, like you've got another mirror there. Yeah. Like, ooh. Yeah, yeah so this is a really handy little product. And then I've got a few by Terry products to talk about, um, I actually haven't tried any of these yet. But I know you've got this as well. Have you had a chance to try it? Oh my gosh, it's so good. Have you tried any by Terry bases before? No, I don't think I have. So good. So this is a foundation. Mm -hmm. Even if you just try it on the back of your hand. The first time I tried a by Terry base, it was their Sheer Expert BB Cream, or maybe it's a CC cream. I tried it on the back of my hands and it was flawless airbrush and I was like, if this comes out the same way on my face, it's going to be a dream and it did. And this, is that like, are you getting it out now? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't that look amazing? It looks so good. I wasn't expecting it to be liquid, yeah. um, but that's beautiful because it's like just enough, like the perfect amount of coverage, I mm -hmm. think, without being like heavy or anything like that. And it smells good. It does. Love it. What else have you got? I didn't realise there was more to the new collection. Well, I think these are all new, but I'm not 100% sure. So here there is a eye cream, Ooh. so Hydra Flash Aqua Care. I didn't actually realise they did skincare. Which I think is quite like a, a nice applicator, quite cooling, so mm -hmm. that would be quite nice to use. And then there's is that a lip stain or a lip yeah. gloss? It's I think that's a beautiful colour. Velvet Rouge. It's a quite a quirky applicator. Yeah, but I think that would be quite like a nice applicator. Really satisfying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good colour for you. And then a contour. <gasps> And these are so weighty, like, mm -hmm. they're so, yeah, they're Whoa! really beautiful. Whoa! Yeah, oh my they're gosh, heavy. that is beautiful. But that's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. Oh my gosh, yeah. that is gorgeous. Is that, a, so is that a, um, a contour and a highlight? Yeah, I think so. That is stunning. I guess it depends on your skin tone, but yeah, I yeah. think it's a contour and a highlight. so pretty. And then, oh, this is another one, just a different shade. And wow. that's beautiful That's more, too. that's blush and that's yeah, contour and highlight. Yeah, I'd say. I'll gorgeous. say so. And what's this one? And then that's a powder. I've heard like really good things about this powder. Mm -hmm. It's the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. Um, yeah, I've heard really good things. It looks really finely milled. Mm. So I'm looking forward to trying that. See, what brush would you use for that? Would you use like a big puffy one? Yeah, pro yeah. possibly. I never know what brushes I to think use. I'd use, because I only powder, I quite like to be slightly dewy. Mm. So I probably powder just under my nose and like okay. under my eyes. And probably with that brush we were talking about earlier, like the Real Techniques. I don't know what I it's called. Know. No, it's like oh, a really no, it, tiny... Oh no, I think it's the contour brush. Yeah, maybe. It's mm. like really, really good. And then the last one that Sabrina and I both have to talk about is the new Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette, which is called the Greyish Collection. So grey and beige, in case, in case you didn't get that. And it's in this beautiful navy silk case, which is so much more luxe than the normal Bobbi Brown packaging. It's just really, really beautiful. I love the normal Bobbi Brown packaging. But this is just another level. I think isn't I prefer it? the normal Bobby Brown. Do you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Maybe. I don't like ink fingerprints on stuff. I just mm. I don't know. I find it really. I get really anal about it. But what's more exciting is what's inside. The colours are all absolutely beautiful. So you've got like a bone colour. In fact, this is probably the Bobby Brown bone. I'm sure it is. Oh no, it's ivory actually, very similar to Bobby Brown bone. And then you basically have every single brown that you could possibly need during the autumn season. You've got light browns that I'd probably put all over the lid. Um, you've got the darker browns, which are great for the crease. You've got shimmery browns, you know where this is going. You basically have all the browns you need for a nice smoky eye, which I love. And that's the end of our new and beauty products, just our personal selection of what kind of caught our eye. Um, so I hope you really enjoyed that. Of course, I'm going to leave a link over Josie's face. For you to click on 
and don't forget to head over and subscribe to her channel as well. We also filmed a new in budget video for Josie's channel so I'll leave a link to that below and don't forget to check that out um, and hopefully we'll see you all soon. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more videos from Josie and I and we'll both see you soon. Bye! Bye.